violates me again. You're not allowed to be around my kid because you're bad and I've already had a run in with you because I'm over it. I've seen where you've been texting her on her burner phone that her 20 year old boyfriend, man, so whatever you want to call him, that was at my house at 2.30 in the morning, that fixing the end today too. Hi. Um, you also keep on putting my kid in really bad position, so I'm coming for you too. If I have to go to school and call you out name by name, I will. Okay? Because y'all have taken her down long enough. And I'm not saying it's only your fault. Oh no, Emma's responsible for her own decisions. But all you that let her add you on a new Snapchat and didn't come to me and tell me, yeah, I got your numbers and you're next on my list of parents to call. So I'm over it. Well, that was Karen who, <laughs> I don't think it's too much to say, went ballistic on her daughter Emma's Snapchat after finding her phone, that she had a second phone when hers had been taken away, and she found her boyfriend in her closet at 2.30 in the morning. And she found out that he wasn't 16 or 17, he in fact was 20. Now Emma says she knew her mother was strict, she thought her mother was overbearing, but never imagined that she would humiliate her the way she did. Take a look. I got in trouble last year because my mom found my boyfriend in my closet at 2 in the morning. I think I was just doing what every teenager does. <laughs> drinking and trying new stuff. I was not very wild. I was just like a normal teenager. My mom is very strict. If I want to hang out with a boy, she has to know the boy before I can hang out with him. And I'm not supposed to drink, I'm not supposed to do drugs, and not date anyone like super old. She found out I was sexually active and then made me wear a pregnancy suit. It was like you were like nine months <laughs> pregnant. It added like 40 pounds and you had like the boobs and everything. It wasn't fun at all. <laughs> One night, my boyfriend wanted to come over after work, and so I snuck him in while my mom was sleeping. When she woke up, I just heard like her knocking on the door, and my first reaction was like, go to the closet. At that point, I was freaking out. I was like, okay, I'm dead. A little did I know she would post a video on Snapchat. I didn't think she would do that. At 2.30 this morning, I found in her closet. So unless each of you want me to come after y'all and go to your parents and tell them the that y'all are doing, you better back the off. I was really mad at her. I asked her why she did it and then she told me, maybe it'll teach you a lesson. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was more angry that she called out all my friends than telling everyone the whole story of what happened. I was like, all my friends are gonna hate me. I was so mad at her for months and then eventually I was just like, it's not even worth being mad anymore. Especially, it's not worth a relationship with my mom, but I still think the video was definitely unnecessary. Well, how did you find out that your mom sent that video? She showed it to me. And when your friends saw that, what did they say to you? Um, I didn't go back to school for like a week or two. Yeah. And then um, everyone was just like talking about me behind my back. Some of my friends were supportive. Some of them were really mad at me and I was like, I can't control my mom. Like, and those that were talking behind your back, I assume you eventually heard what they were saying. What were they saying? Just like, I can't believe her mom would do that to us. And she's such a bad friend for snitching on us. But I didn't even snitch on them. Like, my mom just found out. It's yeah. not, she finds out everything, obviously. And how did you feel about it? Once you knew, what you, you saw the whole thing and you, you saw her with her hair on fire screaming in the camera, what was your feeling about it? Um, I was super embarrassed and like angry at everything that was going on. I was mad at myself as well for uh -huh. doing that, being dumb.